Okay, go watch the last video if you haven't watched the last video. Anyway, I got some tea. Now, my mother gave me some little animals. Scandinavian swimmers, sea life dummies from Trader Joe's. That. Um, she says they're amazing. This one's a dolphin. This one's a seahorse. I think this one's a grouper. And then this one is a lobster. I thought it was like scorpion. I saw I saw scorpion. So I'm gonna try this lobster. You know what this smells like? Smell a vision. Kinda tastes like it too. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Chewy. I'm so sorry. Um, Swedish fish. It tastes like Swedish fish. It does not feel like Swedish fish. I thought it was gonna be like really hard to get off. It's really hard to eat with a hurting tooth. This one's really good. I like this one. Hi. Okay. Next for the dolphin. Kind of tastes like a pear. It's an interesting taste. Weird thing is, I can see you guys, and I can see my dog down down there. I can see when he looks down and up at me. Yeah. Yeah. Now for the seahorse. For some reason, I confuse these mm. with sea stars. They look nothing alike. What? <sighs> it was really dorky, hippy, hippy. Mm. Not as fond as this one. I don't like this one as much. It's like a watered down lemon. Like watered down lemon water or tonic water, you know? Don't do that. It'll taste bad. Now for this grouper looking fish. Why do I, why? Well, this one tastes like a straight up orange. Those are good. I like those. Now, for the most petrifyingly amazing bevel. Bevel? What is a bevel? Please tell me. Bevel in history. The cinnamon. Is it called Brugger's? I think it is. This is what it looks like. It looks like a normal Brugger's that done it. No, it has cinnamon on it. Lots and 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 lots of cinnamon. It basically smells like a cinnamon roll. Cinnaroll? What the heck is a Cinnaroll? <laughs> sippy, sippy. To get away the stress. Stress? Stress. I can't talk to it. Uh. <sighs> oh, why?
Okay. Oh, look, there's even napkins. I didn't even plan that. All right. Goofy, I'm not feeding you. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Going in for the dive. I don't eat my bagels like none of you fancy peoples. I don't think I have any fancy people on my channel. Do I? I don't know. I have moustache. Alright, let's try this again. Uh. <laughs> I haven't even got to the cinnamon part yet. This is messy. Ow. Next on Ordinary Food Time. This girl right here will devour a whole churro. Well, kind of whole. Stay tuned. She's taking her sweet time. Raise your hand if you're not ready to go back to school. Take a sippy sippy of your iced tea if you're not ready to learn again. And last but not least, take a bite of your bagel if you just don't want to go. Instagram because I have a picture. 
my brother looks exactly like Justin Bieber. Bieber? Bieber? <laughs> Bieber. I'm getting thin. Just thin them. Chewy, stop it. Does this need 20 minutes of my life? What does the world come to? No. Oh, why? R I P T. R I P. Okay, that's all I'm eating. I'm going to wash my hands. Well, um, I reactivated my tooth problem, so I literally cannot open my mouth. Well, I can't open my mouth. I can't close my mouth. And I ran out of tea, so I turned my water bottle into a sippy cup. Going to drown my sorrow in cookies. that would have never been solved or something like that. And just law and order. Um, it looks like a lot of the dog shell. You know? anymore. Well, of course I know who I am. I'm Talia. I think Actually, what I'm watching is Good Luck Charlie, It's Christmas. It's a really good one. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny, too. 
But I'm not watching Netflix, Saw Papes. I'm going to watch Amazon Prime. You know, that's really, really, really loud there. I'm going to reach all the way over here. I am never going to get used to this. I'm just going to be like sitting here sleeping. It's a good thing I have a memory foam pillow that I got for my mom today. Turn up the volume! I did not mean to do that. Oh, you down. So like 70 for poop six. Not that down. There you go. I'm a really darky person. So I like to go with the wild crats. Hero's Journey. Actually, I watched that one. I'll watch it again because that one's actually really entertaining. Who would have thunk that watching a salmon cross all those miles that he goes to lay his eggs was interesting? But just you listen, just you be amazed. PBS Kids opens more possibilities for all children, thanks to PBS stations and viewers like you. Sheesh. On the coast of the North Pacific Ocean, freshwater rivers that feed into it, there's a spectacular wildlife event. Sockeye salmon. Mostly Chinooks and a few Coho. There are seven species of salmon in the world, and they all make similar journeys. But today we're focused the one I'm watching on is the journey Wild Rats. Hero's Journey. What just happened? Why did you have to turn off? Wild Rats, Hero's Journey, Alaska. Happening to the world. I don't want to watch TNT. What I was trying to say was it's Wildcraft Alaska Heroes Journey. Watch it. If you don't want spoilers, go watch it and then come back to this video. Today, we're focusing on the journey of the sockeye salmon in the rivers of the West. Like this one in Alaska. Every year, the salmon swim upstream, battling the currents and traveling hundreds, sometimes even thousands of miles, to get up to the very same rivers and creeks and lakes where they were born so they can lay their eggs. Those salmon will encounter many obstacles along the way. Swift currents, dams, and waterfalls. And bears. And there are a lot of other creature obstacles, too. Oh, this current is so strong right here. How do the salmon do it? Uh oh, a waterfall ahead with bears. Now that means trouble for the salmon. Kind of for you, too, Chris. Imagine if we could join the salmon on their grueling journey full of surprises. Imagine if we had sockeye salmon power. What if?
These are orcas. about them is they change color between their journeys. Okay. Not exactly huge. Yeah, I'd probably call it tiny. 